This is Karen Kuniuki with the Emanuel School of Fine Arts. And today I have an exciting activity to show you that has to do with a spirograph. A spirograph was a toy that came out in 1965. It was invented by a British engineer named Dennis Fisher. A spirograph is actually a mathematical tool that was invented in the 1800s. But this toy came out when I was a kid and it's been around for ages and it's just really fun to play with. Um, the original Spirograph set comes with a bunch of plastic discs and wheels that have cogs or teeth on the outside edge and they interlock. So when you spin the wheel around the inner part of the circle, it creates a pattern or a design depending on the placement of your pen in one of many holes that are on the plastic circle. Now I looked for ideas on how to make your own, should you not have a kit like this at your house. And I tried this baking pan idea, and I made a hole in the cap of a milk jug, and it was an epic fail. It didn't work at all. So here's an idea for how you can make your own. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to create a spirograph if you don't have a spirograph set like this or any Lego to build a spirograph. So find yourself a circle um, such as the inner part of a roll of tape. Um, and on the inside of this circle, I took double-sided tape and I lined the inner side. And the reason I did that is because without it, um, my little milk cap here that I drilled holes in will just slide and shimmy and um, it will only create one solid circle and it won't um, create the spirograph effect. But with the double-sided tape on the inside of this circle, I put my little milk cap down and I experimented by putting holes in different locations and then you just um, pushing towards the outside of the uh, tape roll, um, drag that milk cap around until you have created your design. Now the double-sided tape does have to be f pressed firmly against the side. If there's any air pockets in between the tape and the edge of the circle, then um, the tape will pull off. But that's a pretty satisfactory um, spirograph. Um, the next option you have um, is, say you have some Lego, but you don't have enough to build the whole thing. This is a large gear from Lego, and I chose this because it has all these different holes in it. Um, and let's see how this does with the double-sided tape. I'm not sure it's gonna work. Oh, hey, look at that. It would help if my pen reached all the way down. Let's try a pencil. Okay, so the teeth on the gear seems to really like the double-sided tape as well. And depending on what hole you put your pencil in, you're going to get a different design. Oh, now here we have a problem. I've put it on the outermost hole that I can and it does not want to rotate. So it works better if you choose the inner circle. Trial and error. Some things are gonna work and some aren't. Okay. Um, Here's another thought. I had this, um, this Lego tape, and this is like the cheap Lego tape. I think I got it at the dollar store. I may have found it at like CVS or Walgreens. We've had it forever. Um, it's lost its stickiness. Um, and I know I have the double-sided tape on the inside of this, but it's not necessary. I tested this method without the double-sided tape in place and it worked just great. So what I'm thinking is that the rubbery, squishy 
um, um, <laughs> the the soft pliability of the Lego tape is what allows the um, the cap to work with or this little Lego gear. Um, it's not smooth and it doesn't slide around as much. So let's try this one out. And this is working pretty well too. So um, I just went into my recycling to find a milk jug container uh, that had a top because I figured I could drill a hole in the top with a um, screw. And I, I actually, you, you might have these in your house behind a door. They're like the door stopper that keeps the door from slamming into the wall. And I happen to have one of these sitting on my kitchen counter. So that's what I used to just twist a hole into the milk jug. So um, make sure you ask mom or dad to help you with that sharp bit. Um, make sure you don't do it on a nice countertop or a wooden table. On a cutting board would be great or even on the floor. Um, and if you could find caps like this that are of different sizes, then um, you would be able to achieve different kinds of designs. So um, Look around your house, see what you have to work with. All you need is a big circle and then a smaller circle that you can punch holes in. Good luck. In my research about Spirograph, I found some pretty great instructions for how to build a Lego Spirograph machine. It comes with a parts list and the building instructions for the assembly. Now, I didn't personally have a motor at home to operate my Spirograph machine, so I'm including another little bit of research for a hand crank. This is an overhead view of the machine that I built, and I was able to find most of the parts among my kids' Lego collection, and the gears are the most important part. So you want to find all the gears and then the other placement of things you can probably improvise as long as you have some of the Legos that have the holes that go through them. Um, this is the finished result with the pen sticking down into the machine and here's a little time-lapse footage of my drawing machine in action. So I have included the directions the website where I found all of this information in the end of this video as well as in the details listed on the video on YouTube. It's a pretty easy machine to operate. You can um, use different colored markers. You do have to tinker around with whether you use a marker or a pen. Um, some of my pens they're not new pens and they don't have a ton of ink and so the pressure didn't allow for the color to show up really well. But I found that um, regular Crayola markers work really great and gave me a solid design. So go and tinker with these ideas and come up with a way to make Spirograph and then return to us next week because my art lesson next week is going to use these spirographic designs and I'm going to make something pretty awesome and I think you're going to want to make it too. So come back next week and see what we're going to do with the spirograph. <laughs>